Good morning, guys. Um, this is a friendly reminder for all of my remote students that if you want credit for art this marking period, if you want to pass, you need to turn in assignments, even if you're working remotely. So I thought that instead of doing my sketchbook idea for today, that I would draw along with you the assignment that was due last week. So I'm gonna draw that, maybe to give you a little bit of inspiration to start completing assignments and turning them in. I did post directions for turning in assignments on Google Classroom. Um, I posted it yesterday, so check it out if you haven't seen it. And um, so I'm gonna draw along uh, a Romero Brito cat, which was your assignment for two weeks ago. Um, so do it with me and get some credit for art this marking period, okay? Let's do it. All right, so I hope you check out the video I posted about our artist, Romero Brito. He's super interesting. He's actually still alive today. He's an artist who lives in Florida and just does really colorful, happy, vibrant artwork. I tried to keep this assignment simple for you guys, so hopefully that you wouldn't, you know, be discouraged working on your own. And But let's draw together today and just see how it goes, okay? The first step is to set up your paper by folding it into fours. And please ignore my paint-stained hands. We did a lot of black painting in the art room this week, and I have scrubbed my hands so many times and they still have paint on them. That's the art teacher hazard. So I folded my paper in half, um, the long ways and the short ways, or horizontal and vertical. And now I'm gonna draw my cat. So this guy's pretty cute. Let's see how he goes. The directions show you to draw the head over on this side. So I'm gonna draw one line up for the side of the cat's head. And then my kind of pointy triangle ear shape, a straight line across, and then one more pointy ear shape. That head shape comes down, and then these two lines come together and meet in a point. I think I went a little too far. So I'm actually gonna draw my point first, and then draw up on either side and erase where I went too far. So we've got kind of this funny, I don't even know what you would call this shape, some type of trapezoid with triangle ears. The next step is gonna to be to draw, um, the cat's little paws are stacked over in this area. So I'm gonna draw the bottom paw and then the top paw, because he's just sweetly sleeping. His body is gonna come up and around, so I'm gonna start the line right here and I'm gonna curve it all the way around past the fold. The directions show us that the cat's body comes to about the midpoint of the leg and it's just a straight line across. It's kind of a funny big mountain shape. All right guys, the next step is to draw the cat's hind leg and tail. I'm gonna start with the tail it's a curved line that starts in the corner and meets up to the top of the cat's cheek here. This is the tail shape. A little curved line here will show that the tip of the cat's tail is a different color. I'm also gonna add the cat's leg, one curved line to the back of the body. So it's kind of tucked in here as he's sleeping or she, whatever your cat is, doesn't matter. Let's also draw the cat's eyes. They're gonna be on either side of the head. So the direction show us an eye shape that's a little bit pointed in the corner with a circle in the center. And we do that on the other side as well. A little point in the corner connect to the side. Oops, I think I made this eye bigger. I think that's the hardest part about eyes is trying to get them symmetrical or, you know, matching the same. Just do the best you can. That's all I ever want you guys to do is your very best. Our best doesn't have to be perfect, you know? Next step will be to draw a little line for the eye and a circle. So he's kind of peeking out the corner of his eye, which is kind of funny. 
He's beacon. Next up, nose, upside down triangle, very simple. Mouth. Okay, so what makes this cat um, really speak to the artwork of Romero Brito is by filling him with color and shapes. So I'm gonna draw different line designs in my background, which I'm gonna divide, which the directions show us to do. So my direction, my background's in four quadrants. This is like the floor and this would be like the wall. So I'm just gonna add some line designs, which are just shapes inside each of the quadrants. I'm gonna pick little shapes and then I'm gonna color my cat really vibrant, bright, crazy colors, just like the directions. I'm also gonna trace with Sharpie because I like to trace with Sharpie and that makes me happy. So adding line designs, adding bright, happy color, and then shapes. So you guys can watch, I'm gonna do it in time-lapse. 